there's a helpline with the Samaritans, which can be phoned any day, 24 seven. Their service provides someone who listens. Mind's Info Line provides information during office hours about services and treatments in your location. For the under 35s, there are advisors who support those struggling and anyone worried through an organisation called Papyrus. One man said it helped knowing there were other sufferers, and lots of people have similar experiences. There's treatment for mental health, like with other illnesses. It's a good idea to see a GP, to discuss medication, what else to access, such as referrals to a talking therapy. Cognitive behaviour therapy might help with stress. CBT finds ways to make problems more manageable breaking them down so they're easier to process. A survivor struggled when she'd felt incapable. Her work had set targets that were unachievable. She'd burnt out because she'd wrongly felt responsible. Some GPs make mental health more understandable. They're recommending books like The Curse of the Strong, which explains how no one's invincible. People can break down if under stress for too long. Books like this remove the stigma and shame. It's not your fault if you're ill. You've done nothing wrong. There's also an app, Hub of Hope is its name, which shows which local services are open. The NHS lists mental health apps with the same aim.